good evening, good morning, good afternoon, depending on when you actually will see this. Welcome to the evening midweek manna. And again, we're talking about forgiveness. And we all know forgiveness is hard. We talked last week about what forgiveness is and what it's not. And if you missed that one, I encourage you to go back and, and look at it. Today, I want to talk about forgiveness in connection to revenge. You know, when somebody hurts us, the first thing we want to do is go back and get them, right? Listen to, the, to this devotion today. You say, if I give up my right to get even with somebody who's hurt me, then that's unfair. You're right. It is unfair. But whoever said forgiveness is fair? Was it fair for Christ to forgive everything that we've done and let us go free? No. We don't want God to be fair to us, though. We want God to be gracious to us. We all want justice for everybody else and forgiveness for ourselves. I'm sure that sounds very familiar. It does to me anyway. Life is not fair. And forgiveness is not fair. It's called grace. Remember grace? And God has shown it to both of us. To all of us. One day God is going to have the last word. God's going to settle the score. God's going to right the wrong. So leave the justice part to God. And concern yourself with forgiving. So that there can be peace in your heart. Because forgiveness is about you. It's not about the other person. As long as you don't forgive somebody, they continue to have power over you. Once you forgive them, you get a sense of peace. And you can move on with your life. Because if you don't do this, resentment and bitterness can come into your life. And both of those emotions are worthless. In fact, check this out. Doctors tell us that they are the unhealthiest emotions that we can have. It's bitterness and resentment. They would eat us alive like cancer. When you hold on to resentment, you allow people from your past to continue to hurt you today. And that's not smart. The people in your past are past. Hear that. The people in your past are past. They can't continue to hurt you unless you allow them to. And as long as you hold on to that hurt, they are hurting you over and over and over and over again. So the question for you this day is what hurt from your past is hard for you to let go of. We've all been there. We all have been hurt by somebody. And we all want to take your re revenge. But I hope that you can be encouraged this day to know that God will take care of it. God has our back. And God will see you through whatever comes up. Will you pray with me? Gracious God, thank you once again for this opportunity to just share a little bit about forgiveness. Be with us, God, when we want to take revenge into our own hands. Remind us that you are the one that will settle the score for us. And that the truth will always come out. So God, I just say I lift up to you people who are emotionally, spiritually, physically, and mentally challenging day today. God, we have one of our pastors who's dealing with COVID sy symptoms. I ask you will uh, touch him and relieve him of his symptoms. He's been doing so much in the community around COVID. And, and it, yes, it does seem unfair that he has it now. But I know, God, that you are with him and you'll watch over him. You're sending angels to take care of him. We ask, God, you continue to watch over us. Be with us, God. Strengthen us. Guide us. Continue, God, to love us and provide you peace and joy. And when we feel like we can't go on, remind us, God, that you are there to help us in our weakness. We thank you. And we praise you for all you continue to do for us and through us. In Christ's name, amen. Thank you for listening. Thank you for being with me on this edition of the Evening Forgiveness Midweek Manna. Join me next week at... 11 a.m. Eastern Time or 8 p.m. Eastern Time for another installment on forgiveness. Take care and see you soon.